Welcome back to Houston Live. Now, she started her career in New York, lived in Taipei, and was recently recognized by HGTV. Not a bad resume, huh? Not a bad resume at all, but it doesn't stop there. She's making her mark across the map on various projects. Here to share more about her award and the celebrity chef she's working with to bring a new restaurant into Houston, we have Jen Braverman. Jen, welcome. Thank you. So tell us about the award. They, so this is HGTV's Faces of Design Awards, and you won. So tell us why. Well, uh, it was kind of a winning combination. There was an amazing architect on the project, and um, the home was originally uh, owned by the Balinskas, who import these amazing doors and uh, Mexican artifacts, architectural um, elements. So uh, the house kind of came together under their uh, guidance, and then we had the opportunity to That's decorate gorgeous. it. That's gorgeous. And we have some photos up right now. So tell us what, what we're seeing here. It's a very interesting uh, entryway. It looks. Yeah, yeah. This is the entry. These are these are. This is one of the pairs of doors that uh, was used by the uh, the, the original owners, and um, it, it's a it's a really popular style right now. This very modern, clean home with these rustic elements, kind of setting it off. Oh, okay, wow. so, you know, I, I love that design shows and DIY shows are all the rage right oh now. Gosh, you actually worked, I know, you actually worked on one. You got to give us the skinny being a lead designer on, uh, you were on the show Home Rules. What's it like? Come on, let us into that world a little bit. It's, it's crazy. It's hectic. We were the behind the camera team, so it wasn't, you know, the, the like polished, pristine end result. It was exactly. the 24 hour on call shifts and the full remodel in 10 days. And so on those shows, when they do a before and after that's so dramatic and the full remodels in 10 days, is it like an is army really of a days? million people? <laughs> they all rush in and do the work. Is oh, that how it works? Yeah, it, it's, it's an army and, um, and they don't show you the garage. <laughs> oh, so the finish. You know, I kind of wondered on some of the shows where they don't show you all of the room. <laughs> well, of the stuff course. That's, now I know. That's off camera is, uh, <laughs> yes. They shove it into the garage. Now, Jin, of course, we have some more photos of your work. I want to roll through some of these. And maybe you can tell us about some of these spaces. Um, this is the uh, back area of the home. We actually worked with the, the homeowner to install the pool and design that area. Um, it's a really great part of town. It's right on the bayou, so it's all green past that pool. You just look straight out on the bayou. See, and this almost looks like straight out of like a, a, an Italian villa or something. It, it, it's, it's right beautiful. here in town. Well, and Jin, also, it, when you're describing your design sensibility, I mean, this is a very, the, the pool area we had just seen in the, uh, the previous photo is a very clean line, modern sort of, a, a start, in stark contrast the doors to the green doors. doors were completely different style. So how do you define your style and where do you get your own inspiration? Like in the photo we're seeing um, That's a photo of Ox Heart, uh, which is a really fabulous restaurant uh, in downtown Houston. It's in the warehouse district, and I used to live right around the corner when I was designing this, so the whole area is just very, it's one of the older areas of Houston. It's a James Beard award-winning restaurant. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give it the cred. <laughs> yes, very, very talented uh, chef team. Um, and uh, so the, the aesthetic kind of has to match the, the space. You know, what we're designing has to be authentic to the space. And that's what we really always strive to do, not create anything that feels kind of contrived or Disney World-esque. Just try to really tap into what we're designing and what the end result needs to be. And okay, so keeping with the restaurant theme, let's kind of like spill the beans on the celebrity chef yeah, that you're working that? with. Uh, well, John Besh is bringing a new concept to Houston. Um, he and his chef team uh, are developing a restaurant called Eunice, and it'll be over in the uh, kind of Buffalo Speedway Richmond area, and um, that'll be opening next year. Yeah, and if you're not familiar with John, yeah, if you, if you, what's that? Open by Super Bowl. Sorry to interrupt, JB. <laughs> no. Will the restaurant be open by Super Bowl? No, they're they're aiming more for the end of summer. Well, can't you hurry it up a bit? <laughs> Him and everybody else. Yeah. Okay. But I was gonna say, if you aren't familiar with John Besh, he is a New Orleans chef, world renowned. He's been on all kinds of shows, so he's a big foodie. foodie just right a little here. bit, just Jen, a little bit. What are some of your upcoming <laughs> projects? Well, um, other than the best restaurant, we've been working with some great uh, local Houston chains, um, Dish Society. We did a Ruggles Green. We're working on good company restaurants. They're expanding rapidly. So uh, there's a lot uh, happening right now. We're really um, excited about uh, working, trying to bring a boutique hotel to Houston that has uh, some, of the, some of the subtle 
nuances of these boutique hotels in other cities that we don't quite have yet. And so. you're, you're diving into the ski industry as well and doing some stuff in some ski towns. Yes, yes, we're working on uh, some beautiful Italian modern wine bars in Boulder and Denver, and um, so we're hoping to develop that chain up there as well. Well, Jen Braverman, oh. thank you so much for showing us great photos of stuff <laughs> we can never afford. Uh, and you can check out more of Jen's designs on her website, jendesignsgroup.com.